This week on Giving Back, we continue along with Mike and Nathan Miller as they close out their first Plains game safari in Namibia. Stay tuned at the end of the show to see how hunters, hunting dollars, and the Giving Back team make a positive effect on some beautiful children in Namibia. spotted a herd of about, I don't know how many, but there's many zebra here down there as well. So we're going to go in and see if we're going to get close with the bow. If not, um, we're going to shoot one with a rifle. Are you ready, Nathan? I'm ready. standing and looking at us was a young female. down there. You see a hell of a lot there. Sure. Um, yeah, they're going this way now. I see many there, so we're just going to drive up the way we came and then stalk down. Je ne te la Giving Back is brought to you by Safari Taxidermy, preserving the memories of your hunt for over 40 years. German Precision Optics, exceptional optics at an exceptional value. Kennetrek Boots, for the trail less traveled. Eberly Stock, go in light, come out heavy. Monster Camo, your off-road hunting gear. Magnus Broadheads, superior quality and outstanding performance. Hammer Bullets, Advanced technology, simply better. Post-production and editing by Co-op Outdoor Productions. Big bodied. He's dark in color. His big body is a lot bigger than the other ones. We were finding a lot of zebra, and that actually was part of the problem as we were trying to hunt them with a bow. So Nathan decided to switch gears and switch weapons.
Mauser is a controlled feed, not a push feed. <laughs> no, that's quality. Shoot a young one. <laughs> Last thing you want to do. This segment is brought to you by Hammer Bowls. Uh, some zebras up front, some Virgil's playing zebras, so we're just gonna go in under the wind and try to stalk up. Ready? Just load that one, load it, load it, pull anything, and then if we see we can get close to the bow, we can just switch. There you go. Stand still, stand still, stand still. Let's just see which one it is. There you go. Boom. <laughs> there. There you go. That's how you do He's clear riding. Wrong way, buddy. Yeah, turn. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Let's go and scope. Hey, okay. Good boys. Hey, los. Los. We started out with a very slow start this morning. The wind being terrible once again. Um, we had a we had one stalk this morning early on, on, on the same group of zebras, um, couldn't get a shot. Uh, we tried for some wildebeest the rest of the day, came back and um, there they were. And uh, Nathan, you made an awesome shot about 150, 180 yards and uh, that was perfect, man. Congratulations, good shooting. <laughs> Thank you, Devon. When I uh, first started looking to come to Africa, I, I said, zebra, zebra is my number one and, and here we are, <laughs> got her done. And, more I think about it, the more beautiful they are yeah. here in person than I ever could have dreamed of. So, Definitely. dream come true today for sure. Beautiful animals, congratulations. Thank you. Well, we're here at a, at a salt lick in a wood area. Um, just pick up, picked up one big eland track. Uh, I just have my guys run on a little bit to see how fresh it is. And uh, then hopefully we can get Nathan on the eland in an hour or two. We're gonna start tracking him from here. Uh, luckily the wind is good, so we're good to go. Perfect.
side. Shoot on the chest behind the shoulder, not come out on the shoulder, okay? Just looking at us, just right. Chest. One tusk is broken. Don't want to shoot you now. My gun was you get a knife? Here? Mm. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> this segment is brought to you by Co op Outdoor Productions. After Nathan shot that Elam bull, we went to take up the track. That bull was with five other bulls, so we were hoping he'd break off from the herd. But he stayed with them, and they kept taking us deeper and deeper into the bush. The shoulder, eh? They are walking again, so we just have to go in and, and look which one which one it is. Give me, give me the gun. Give me the gun. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him again. Shoot him. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. Shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come here, come here. He's also blue. There's the blood as well. Blood. Blood. It's loaded, eh? Keep the barrel up. Come. On 
you shoot him. Shoot him. There we go. That's good. That's done. Good. Yeah. Well done. He's gonna go. Friend. It's awesome. Mike. <laughs> This thing is tougher than nails, eh? Oh my god. I've never seen things take a hit like that. That'd be a rocky scene. Unbelievable. Hey? Oh. This is not elk or moose, my friend. No. This is Africa. <laughs> let's let's go around guys. Check it out. Holy. <laughs> huh? Started the day out early this morning looking for some eland tracks. Uh, actually spotted some uh, group of bulls and uh, the chase was on. We started tracking early this morning and I went all the way till lunchtime. Uh, stopped and took a break uh, and then about an hour and a half after lunch of uh, tracking some more. Um, we caught up with this old bull and uh, got a shot in and, and here we are. Just dream come true today. This is, this is the, the one that I wanted when I came over here and here we are. It's a fantastic bull, Nathan. Yeah, we were probably on their tracks for about four to five hours. Uh, it's a very thick bush in here, close range. Um, they, they, they don't get much better than this. And uh, he made an awesome shot. Nathan, congratulations on just an awesome big old <laughs> Eland bull. Thank you. This segment is brought to you by Safari Taxidermy. On our way out with Nathan Zeeland, we spotted a great warthog out in the field. This was our last afternoon of the safari, so Devon and Mike decided to go right at him and try and close the distance. Broken, but nice right. time pick. One last. That's right. Beautiful. <clears throat> This is, uh, you know, getting down to the last hours of our safari and uh, kind of caps off a perfect day and a perfect week. Uh, we saw all very many quality animals, and I hadn't shot a warthog yet. And the last hours of the day, we see this in the field, and Devon gets me very close, and uh, a great trophy, something I wanted to have when I came here. A very exciting conclusion to our trip. Yeah, Mike is a beautiful old bull warthog. Uh, he's even missing a tail there. One tusk, it's uh, broken off, so good character, bull. You made an awesome shot. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you for today and, and the my, whole week. My pleasure. All right, we're on our way after the safari to the local school, Ben Hur. And what we do is we, after every hunt, we donate some meat, protein to these kids. And um, it actually works very good because this reduces poaching to quite a bit, actually. and. Um, Another thing is those kids don't have protein whatsoever. They live off um, a local thing called maize meal. 90% of their, their diet is, is maize meal. So they're always very happy if we, we have hunters in camp because then they know that uh, we're gonna, they're going to get some meat and some proteins for the, for, for the next few weeks. So uh, this is once again, this is hunters dollars making a difference in Africa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Next time if you... Hello. 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 
just donated the, the meat of a whole oryx um, to, to the local school here and um, it's, it's awesome to see these kids because they're so appreciative about uh, all of this protein they, they only get it once we have hunters in camp so it's once again it's just hunters dollars uh, around Africa that's making the difference and uh, it's reducing the, the poaching to a, to a big level and, and in our area at least so we, we're proud of what we are doing and uh, this is what we stand for this is giving back and this is DL safaris and this is uh, conservation through hunting. If you would like more information on this hunt or any hunt you are thinking of going on, please contact Aaron at the number below. As an international hunting consultant with Outdoors International, he can help you put together your next hunt of a lifetime. <laughs>